Hey, this is Carrie with Becky Higgins, and thanks for joining me for another Project Life app tutorial. Printing the pages you've created in the Project Life app doesn't get any easier than printing directly through the app, and this video is going to walk you through the process so you can see just how simple it is. Before you place your order, you're going to want to double check the pages in your library for spelling, spacing, brightness, and details like that. Simply tap on the library section and double check anything on your pages that you might have concern about. Please note that most device screens are brighter than the actual print results, and our lab does not autocorrect color on our prints. So when in doubt, brighten the photos you're adding to your pages for the best results when printing. Once you've double checked the details, it's time to start your order. Let's go back to the home screen by tapping the X in the upper left corner. And to start your print order, you will tap on order prints along the bottom of that page. If you are logging in for the first time, it will give you the option to either create an account or log into an existing account. Um, if you don't have an account already, you would obviously tap the button at the bottom and then it will walk you through the process of setting up an account, asking for an email address, a password, and letting you approve um, or agree with our privacy policy. Because I already have an account, I'm going to go ahead and tap log into my account and this is where I will enter my username and password. Once you've logged into your account, you will see this page, which shows you your order history. It allows you to look at our printing, frequently asked questions, and also to review our privacy policy. This is also where you'll go once your order has been placed to check on the status of that order, whether it is processing, whether it has shipped, and it will also allow you to track that shipping once your order is in the mail. But for now, we're simply going to tap where it says place an order. And then you'll see all of the pages that are completed in your library. Now, anything that is in progress will not be available for you to order, but all those things that are completed will show right here with the date that they were completed. So in order to add them to your shopping cart so that you can order them, you'll simply tap on the individual page. This one here was created with a six by eight template. And so my option for this is to print a six by eight or add a six by eight to my order. I'm going to tap that on the bottom and then I'll just continue to do that with whichever pages I want to add to my order. Now anything that is square is going to give you the option of printing 8x8 or 12x12. 12 12. So you can choose that here. I'm going to choose 8x8 on that one. And this one here was a collage and this one is available for me in a 4x6. So I'm going to go ahead and add a 4x6 to this order and then I'll add one more. And we'll add that one in a 12x12. 12 12. Okay, now that I've added everything that I want to my order, I'm going to go ahead and tap next in the upper right corner. On this page, you will be able to select the number of copies of each print that you would like to receive. So all you do to change that is to tap on the number next to it and then you'll scroll through to choose the number of prints that you would like to receive. That is the beauty of the Project Life app. You can actually create one page and print multiple copies in a flash so that you can add those to albums for different family members, for um, you can give them to friends if you were together on a vacation. It makes it so easy. Then all you'll do is just tap and again change the numbers, tap and again change the numbers. So you can add as many or as few copies. The default number of copies for any print that is added to your order is going to be one copy. One other thing to note, if you are using an Apple device and you have Apple Pay set up, you will have the option to pay using Apple Pay on this page where you are choosing the number of copies. Um, you can't see it on this screen because I don't have Apple Pay enabled on this iPad, but it would be a button on the bottom and it will give you the Apple Pay logo. You would simply tap on that, verify all of your information, which will include obviously your shipping address and your credit card information, and then your order would process from there. For those using Apple Pay, please make sure that the shipping address that is associated with your account is the correct shipping address because we cannot change that once an order has been placed. Now for most of our customers who are not using Apple Pay, you'll go ahead and confirm the number of copies of each print that you want to order and then tap next in the upper right corner and be taken to a page where you will then enter your shipping information. Mine's already entered because I've placed an, an order previously, but you'll go ahead and fill out your name and your address here and then tap next in the upper right corner. 
And here you'll make it to the final step as you see along the top. You'll want to double check here that you have the correct number of pages of each print size um, included in your order. The shipping and tax, of course, are included. And then also do one last check on your shipping address before entering your credit card information. This is where you will enter your payment information at the bottom. You'll tap on the bottom where it says enter payment info, enter your credit card number, and then you'll tap on submit order. I, of course, am not entering that information here because it's private and you probably don't need to see my credit card number as well as the fact that I'm just adding random prints to an order here just to walk you through the basics. Once you submitted your order, your prints should arrive in seven to 10 business days. Now this will vary depending on your location, but most orders should arrive within that time frame. If for any reason you have a problem and haven't received your prints in that time, go back to the homepage of the app, tap on the green section with the question mark and send an email directly to our customer support and they can help you with that. Now that was easy, right? I do want to point out just a couple of other things as we end this tutorial um, that might be helpful in your ordering process. You'll note that if you want to go back and make any changes along the way, simply tap that upper left corner. It'll take you back to those previous steps. If you are on an Android device, you'll just tap your back button and it will take you back to the previous pages so that you can edit or make changes to those um, where you can change the number of copies, you can update your shipping information. Um, anything along the way, you can add more prints if you come back to this page, or you can go all the way back to the beginning. Now, if you look now, instead of saying place an order, it says current order, which tells you that you actually have prints already in your shopping cart. So if you get to this page when you open the app and it says place an order, that means you're putting together a brand new order. You don't have anything that you've already selected. If it says current order, that means you'll tap on that and it'll show you the things along the bottom, the prints that are already added to that order. You also have the option just below that to delete the order if maybe you wanna go back and just start over. But it will save your order in progress um, so that you can come back to that. And again, like I mentioned, on this homepage, you can go through and you can look at the order status. It'll show you when it's shipped. And then once it's shipped, you can tap on that order and it will actually give you a tracking number where you can look at that. Once your order has been placed, it will be printed and shipped. We are unable to cancel or make changes to orders once they have been submitted. I hope this has been helpful in showing you just how easy it is to order prints through the Project Life app. We continue to receive rave reviews from customers on a daily basis about how thrilled they are with the ordering process and how beautiful the print results are that arrive on their doorsteps. We hope this will give you just the nudge that you need to try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching.